Sinestruck. All right, so thanks for clicking on this video to watch somebody play Chrono Trigger while uh, <clears throat> drinking an old classic here, drinking some Jameson on a Saturday. So let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, eventually I hope to get um, streaming done. Uh, like on a Twitch kind of a thing eventually. It's just that there's a lot of stupid technical stuff in the way that's that's bothering me. Hey, there's all my old game saves. What are you doing on here? Um, yeah, I guess we'll just do a new game. I'm playing this on the Retron 5, so we can... Uh, we don't need a save point thing. God, that's that first one is my first uh, game save going all the way back to like 1997, I want to say, or 98. And of course, we want to do active. Um, and for the purposes of this video, since it fits perfectly, I might as well put drunk. You know, I don't usually like to change Chrono's name, but back when I first played this, God, this, this opening scene always gets me. It never gets... I've seen this, like, at least a couple hundred times, I swear. And it's still just the best. I love this game. I love this game. So, yeah, no, my, my uh, uh, friend going all the way back to, to high school, um, we, we used to always come up with absurd names to name the characters, like change Robo into Vibro, <laughs> stupid shit like that. Oral Plus, and just, like, using all the special characters. Drunk! Or just, you know, simple juvenile stuff you do when you're a teenager. Like naming Chrono Fuck. So it's the mom saying, Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> just dumb shit like that. Who doesn't do that with an RPG every once in a while? Especially when you're a teenager. Like, that's the point, right? Like, one of my, <laughs> one of my friends named Robo uh, Cunty. <laughs> so it's, I remember he took a screenshot and... <laughs> <laughs> sent it saying your new name is cunty okay <laughs> just, i still laugh when i think of it anyway let's let's go downstairs talk to mom an inventor friend of yours i've forgotten her name we're gonna stick with luca just for continuity's sake i might make a few changes to the names here and there but love that making the cat meow i'm not much of a cat person I'm allergic for for one thing, but um, I did have a cat growing up. Got her in '93 when I was 11 years old. So, and then she lived almost 20 years. She died in I think December of 2008. No, '93. Yeah, it would have been December. Yeah, what am I talking about? It would have been December of 2013, I think, that she died. She almost made it 20 years. Or 2012, not 2013. I can't do maths. <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines in this game. I'm so happy I can scream! It's almost like you could see the development team get sick of doing this, or, or the translation. I wonder what that line is in the original dialogue. If it really is, I'm. it comes anything close to I'm so happy I could scream. Oh, here's the training dungeon. Not dungeon, but just... Uh, yeah, if you need anything you need to know about anything about RPGs is right here. And they do a good job explaining it. Um, it just, it's time consuming and I'm not going to go through all this crap. One funny thing though, you see the, the you notice the, I mean, get out of here. But there was a guy over there playing with a save state. Uh, another high school friend of mine uh, did not know how to save in this game. Been in the fair yet? No. Well, don't yell at me, Jesus. I'll go. I got shit to do first. Take your bloody time. They have English accents over here, really? Is, is that specific to English? No. <laughs> Airhead, huh? Yeah, what earthquake? What are you talking about? Huh. And here's a tell. Oh, and then there's one of these. Sealed by a mysterious force. That's another nice bonus this game has. Depending on what time 
you come back if you if you get that thing as soon as you can it'll be i think like a colored vest of some kind like white vest black vest blue vest that's uh helps you your immunity to a certain element but if you wait until like i think like the black omen appears or something like that and get it then then you can uh, hey where is everybody luke is not home i suppose she's at the fair but shouldn't the mom be here there she is Hi, Mom. Hi, Luca's mom. Tabin? Tabin? How do you say that name? Tabin? Nick Saban? <laughs> um, yeah, if you come back later for those chests, they're something much better. Uh, better equipment. So, all right, let's stop screwing around. Let's go to the fair. I remember when uh, my girlfriend played this for the first time. She spent no joke like an hour at this fair just doing everything and i remember asking like aren't you gonna like freaking proceed with the game she's like no i like this <laughs> i like playing at the fair <laughs> it's like okay whatever all right let's place a bet here um last round's winner was green ambler sure let's guess and we're gonna go with gi jogger and i'm gonna race too say it on your mark, get set, go! And fucking a green ambler again, dude's got dude's got a freaking dynasty. Come on, GI jogger, it's garbage. <laughs> green ambler is like the freaking Bill Belichick of this race. All right, we're not gonna do the tent of horrors that comes in handy much later in the game. You heard? Well, you're standing right there. I'm sure you did hear something. Yeah, what kind of stuff does he have at this point of the game? He's got... Load Sword, but that's really something I believe you can find uh, later. <laughs> Blow up, look at that. I think that's something in a treasure chest that you can find. Now, these would be useful. Let's buy that, in fact. Yeah, I've got money for both, so why the hell not? We'll equip the bronze helm. I don't ever remember doing this before, to be honest with you. And let's sell the old shit. Yeah, I'm not one to keep tons of equipment and stuff. I'm really efficient when it comes to that crap. Let's get some tonics. Let's get a heal. Isn't this exciting? This is why Chrono Trigger is the greatest game of all time. Buying stuff. Talking to people. Funny dialogue. I'm so happy I could scream. Oh, I always suck at this. I can never get the timing right. And of course... Fucking A. Ah, that's right, you're all going to sit here and watch me do this. Why can't I get it? Jesus. Come on. Are you kidding me? Finally. Let's see if I can... There. Now I've got the hang of it. Anyway, i got two silver points. Let's move on. Let's move on with the story. Ugh! <laughs> The physics in that collision were a little strange, but whatever. Notice the bell starts ringing as soon as she uh, gets introduced. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, yeah, I'm playing the original SNES cartridge. This is not a... Uh, I don't know. Do I want to change her name now? Nah, we'll we'll stick with Marl. Marley, Marl, drunk. What a nice name. I know. That's why I'm I'm called that. It is a nice name. Oh, here we go. Wah, where's my cat? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. A soda guzzling contest. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, his name ain't drunk for nothing. <laughs> Dominant. Yeah, I'm awfully competitive when it comes to drinking. You're damn right. 
No, I cheat. I put uh, the A button on turbo. I'm playing with the uh, original SNES cartridge on a Retron 5 with the ASCII pad with all the turbo switches and stuff. Yeah, you can steal this guy's lunch, which uh, I'm going to be nice. I'm always such a sucker. I do all the nice things here because I'm a sentimental sap in some ways. So I just like doing things the way the game intends you to do them. If you skip them, it comes in hand, you know, it, it's going to come into play later. The first time you play this, when you don't uh, know that, it kind of sucks. Like, it's, it's kind of a bummer. It's like, oh, I didn't know you could do all that stuff, and then you want to go back and do it. All right. You know what that theme means. It's time for Gatto. <laughs> this fucking thing. Blah, 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 blah. 14? That's a lot of damage from him. God, again. Jesus, Gatto's gonna kill me. Oh, come on. Stupid active time battles. Jeez, he is gonna kill me. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Go after her. That's gotta be it right there. There we go. Yeah, my uh, the the aforementioned high school friend used to level up on Gato. Ten experience points at a time, just hours and hours of just playing Gato. <laughs> that became like a phrase we would use. W was uh, <laughs> I need to heal up? He kicked my ass. Nah, fuck it. Never mind. Let's. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. I was gonna do it again, but I realized that people might watch this. I'll I'll. Two dozen of you might watch this. Oh shit, yeah, they're still setting up. We need to... This frustrated me when I still played it. Um, do I know the latest gossip? No. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I didn't know how to proceed with the game. It's It turns out you talk to this random person right in the middle to trigger the next aspect of the story. That's kind of frustrating when games do that, but whatever, what are you going to do? Now ah, the path is clear. But yeah, leveling up on Gato became like kind of like an inside phrase, inside joke. Well, you do that, you're just leveling up on Gato. Yeah, and then the game makes you sit there. If you try and move, uh, it come, happens later. It comes in handy later. This whole fair sequence is really interesting. Like the way the game is structured, really interesting. Super Dimension Warp. Sounds like an early SNES game. Or it sounds like the subtitle to uh, Hyperzone. Hyperzone Super Super Dimensional Warp. <laughs> it never worked right. Check out that girl's glasses. <laughs> yeah, you dup dumbass. It's me. I'll try it. I'll watch while you try it out. That sounds... Sounds like my girlfriend Pearl. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay here and watch while you do the insanely risky thing. Okay? Yeah, buddy. It's gonna work just fine, see? It's teleportation. Yeah, see? Her glasses... Wait, what? <laughs> they say the same thing. Wow. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Alright, so... Now it's time for Marl... Marley... Is it Marl or Marley? Jesus, Marley just sounds wrong, and it makes me think of Marley the dog from the, from the book. Was it a book first, or was it a movie first? I can't even remember. I think it was a book first. Marley and me. No, no, my my American upbringing tells me that uh, the E should be silent. My English-speaking upbringing, rather, moral, silent E at the end, just because that's how stupid English is. Random silent E's. Any of you, anybody who's watching this, whose English is second language, is nodding their head right now. Like, yeah, you stupid-ass English speakers and your silent E's that make no sense. 
What is going on? Whoa. Okay, she just freaking disappeared. What in God's name is going on? <laughs> Show's over, nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, now we have our first story wrinkle. What the hell happened to the prince? Or, we don't know she's the princess yet. What the hell happened to Drunk's friend? Chrono's friend. It couldn't have been the telepod. The work field seemed to be affected right now. That's right. It's the heroic music change. I'm gonna go do it. What a fine lad. Like, I'm Irish for a second, all of a sudden. Sure, what the hell? I got nothing else to do today. I already did all the cool stuff at the fair anyway. Power to full, Roger. Come on, building suspense. Is it gonna work? I think somebody made a gif way back when of just the the looping of like, more power, I need more power, Roger. And it was just like, that's mean because it makes it look like that's all that happens. Anyway, ooh, spooky. We're going someplace far, far away. What's going on? How is it happening? Alrighty, we are in the middle of a forest. Actually, we are right where, uh-oh. Goblins. We're in the exact same spot where the telepod is and where the fair is. Just Uh-oh, shit, I've got only 22 hit points. That was unwise. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed by goblins. <laughs> in the first part of the game. <laughs> Gato and goblins are gonna kill me. I should be fine. <laughs> so dumb. Oh uh, boy. Yeah, I should probably uh, take a tonic. Immensely stupid. Okay, let's get out of here. Where am I? Weird. Also very calm and soothing. Oh, more enemies. So yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm sorry. They're not goblins. They're imps. That's that's my mistake. I deeply apologize. Well, actually, they're not goblins. Four experience points. Hey, but those two. All right, leveled up already, and I got cyclone. That's true. If you do, if you face Gato twice, you can level up to your first level at the very least. Oh, there we go. This is useful. Better than a bandana. Just, I love that it's called the Power Glove. I picture Chrono like wearing an actual Power Glove, <laughs> like NES Power Glove, while he's like killing stuff with swords. You should be able to wear two power gloves in that case. Yeah, kill the Rolly first. He does the most damage. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going to try and play this for at least, uh, you know, back in the day when I first did these LPs, it was, uh, <laughs> you know, I had such a crappy uh, internet connection, DSL. And it was so slow, and it took me forever just to upload even just like a five-minute video. So I only did it in ten-minute parts. And that's what I saw other people do anyway. That's what, you know, LPers like H.C. Bailey were doing. <laughs> Are you stupid? Kingdom of Guardia. No, I didn't know that. Lovely. We need more input. love the sarcasm there. It's great. What nonsense. Anyway, yeah, that's what LPs back in... I mean, when I say back in the day, I'm talking like 2014 when I first started doing that. They were still... Well, a lot of them were still just done in 10-minute parts. And I, I, I think Game Grumps back then was still doing just 10 minutes each day. Sure. <laughs> Cider. God forbid you drink an actual spirit or beer or something like that. 
That's it? That's all you had to tell me? Boo! Can I buy a beer? Or can I buy quote-unquote cider? Actually, hard cider is usually pretty good. I like hard, good hard cider. It's just I don't like sour drinks very much. I'm not a sour drink person. Maybe one day I'll like sour stuff because uh, I lost it. And then they found the queen, huh? Interesting. <clears throat> it's always so such a tricky way to uh, tell a story through NPC dialogue and to give hints without outright saying stuff and to, to still kind of slyly reveal things as you go. How much uh, money do I have? Not much. And I don't have enough for a decent uh, sword yet. But I will buy that for when she comes back to my party. That's interesting that they still... Um, you know what? I already had a bronze helm. Let's, I'll leave it for her. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky balance to uh, structure this in a way that it doesn't give away too much. It's The exposition isn't too crazy or too obvious or too blatant. That game does that. This game does that very, very well. Um, and while keeping the dialogue interesting and making it sound a little bit like how normal people talk... Um, yeah, I, aren't there supposed to be battles in here? Where's all the enemies? Huh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're supposed to get curious about the twitching butches. Rolly Riders. Let's use this. What the hell? These guys are have a lot of hit points, I think. Uh, maybe not. No, well, they have at least 30, or 32, I should say. Well, I got through that without getting hit, so. Yeah, those tech points are really useful. It's funny they to see you get the ratio between tech points and hit points back then. Were, uh, or back then, back at the beginning of the game here. It's a little closer, so you can unlock, it gives the game gives you a good chance to unlock some cool abilities like this right away there we go okay so they have 30 hit points that was very efficient and very useful and helpful 120 gold that's I'll take that fuck yeah in fact if I is this blocked by oh that's all that's down here I would go back and get that sword but I think you get it in a treasure chest up here anyway maybe I don't know or at least in the next, uh... <laughs> Check out that hair! This kid would never be the cut. Show us your stamp collection. Hey, she looks familiar. <laughs> Something odd about him. Well, yeah, there you have it. Let's explore the castle. Let's enjoy this cool castle music. Gotta love how Squaresoft RPGs all have to have a castle theme. And they all have trumpets and like this, you know, like all the Dragon Quest games all have that trumpety sounding, very regal sounding. <laughs> what is wrong with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. See, this game's full of weird shit like that. I forgot about that. Oh, cool. I think I will, actually. Well, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hey. Gimme power stew. That sounds pretty good. That does sound good right now. Give me some power stew. What would be in a power stew? It's got to be uh, potatoes, carrots, lots of vegetables. Um, yeah, just big chunks of potatoes. Big chunks of like roast beef, like meat. Like a roast that you had in the crock pot for a while. <laughs> Eyes cream. <laughs> Reminds me of the Mr. Burns. I'm enjoying this so-called iced cream. 
Oh, we got an ether. That's useful at this part of the game. Hey, wait a second. What's going on? Getting triggered here. Triggered an, an event of some kind. We got awkwardly moving soldiers. Supper? What are you, from Minnesota? Oh, yeah, you know, I gotta go have supper. You know, go to Perkins and have some supper. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, I, I have to go to Perkins because my stove's not working. So we all had to get in the car and go to Perkins. You know, the one over by 494, over by uh, 3M, you know. So, yes, we get the impression that the chef and that guy do not get along. Again, that's foreshadowing something else later in the game. This is a game... See, I already... In fact, this was the game that taught me. This was the RPG I played way back when. That taught me to talk to everybody all the time. So if you don't like that, <laughs> then you're going to be pretty bored with this LP. Cause I'm going to try and talk to everybody. Huh. <coughs> okay. Sure, I've heard of Sir Cyrus. What is he, a DJ or something? Huh. Yakra. Interesting. But yeah, <coughs> this was the game that gave me the habit. What is he, Randy Savage? Ooh! Hey, I'll take a snooze. <laughs> they have a special sprite just for Chrono Sleeping. I love it when games do that. And that's another, that music you just heard there, that's another uh, RPG tro soundtrack trope. You need to have like a lullaby sounding thing as somebody goes to, to sleep. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Where are you going, buddy? You okay? What's up, buddy? <laughs> All right, let's check it out. <coughs> Again, you gotta check everything because there's treasures like this. A tonic. Come on, there's gotta be something better than. Again, I think there's something. I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong. If you don't open that, but if you come back to this castle much later in the game, like on one of the side quests, I think that's actually, that turns into like a an elixir, something super strong. I don't remember for sure, though. Please leave us. Gods, leave us. <laughs> Sir. See, now everybody is in agreement that it's Queen Lean, right? It's not Queen Leany. So why wouldn't it be Marl instead of Marley? You know what? I'm just going to call her Marl from now on. Because nobody's saying Leany. That's ridiculous. God, the English language is so stupid sometimes. You're welcome, Marl. Uh-oh, what's going on? Well, that's no good. What'd you, what'd you eat? Something go down the... Something not settling in your tummy? Oh, yeah. She must have ate some real bad... Real bad Mexican or something. I don't know. She disappeared. <laughs> yeah, the way that uh, scene is depicted in the PS1 uh, port of this game with those anime... Do anything funny. Am I sure? Yeah, I'm sure. No. <laughs> this guy. That guy's me. I grow so tired of that. Anyway, yeah, the way that uh, death scene, so to speak, uh, is depicted as is really well done. It's Luca. How did you get here? What do you mean she's gone? Yeah, this game is localized really well, and I think it was done on a pretty 
strict uh, time frame, too. Aha! She's Princess Nadia. What? I'm shocked! Yes, let's spell it out for the audience. I mean, yeah, there would be kids playing this at the time, so... <laughs> what is that maneuver? They just kind of nod and out comes a kid. Queen Lean has been kidnapped. If you take away that person, that means the subsequent people cease to exist. Interesting how gen <coughs> generational traits work like that. Like, uh... My girlfriend, uh, she looks nothing like either of her parents. She looks nothing like uh, really anybody in her family um, except her grandmother. She looks just like her grandmother. It's weird. It's just same with my brother. He looks just like my mom's dad. He doesn't look anything like like me or my mom or my dad, but he looks exactly like my mom's dad. Weird how that works. I can give her this bronze helm that I have. So there we go. Let's get a move on. Let's talk to the king first. Oh. You don't say anything different? Or was that is that an instance where I'd say you don't say anything different, Lee? Is that where I'd use an adverb? I believe so. Alright, so this being a role playing game. There is a location on the map that I have not visited yet, so of course the inclination would be to go to that location. I don't know how you're supposed to know that. You just have to be used to playing role playing games. And <laughs> just say Hey, we, I have not been here yet, so let's go here. In fact, the game does kind of hint to it when it says uh, something something Yakra. They built a cathedral there and then Yakra disappeared, so I guess it does kind of give you a hint, but... It's like, oh, well I haven't been over here yet, let's see what's over here. Let's... Kind of a gamer's intuition at this point, right? So, I leveled up again, cool. Let's see if we can get Luca's level up. <clears throat> Does she have any... What's her first tech, I wonder? I know their first combo, their first dual tech is... Uh, combines with Chrono's Cyclone attack. And that's, uh... It's not great, but it's reasonably useful. God. Yeah, this is another uh, LP so far. I'm 30 minutes in and I've talked pretty much just talked about Chrono Trigger, unless I've mentioned, like, s oh, yeah, Flame Toss and Fire Whirl. Okay, cool. So, we have our first elemental spell for somebody. Don't ask, she does not know magic, but she knows how to throw fire. It's peculiar. Okay. You know, maybe she has, like, a crazy Zippo lighter or something. I don't know. Wow, 60 damage early. In this early in the game, dealing out 60 for a, a mega, whatever you call it, critical hit pretty impressive. Hey, she's one-shotting these guys, too, with enough. Well, that's cool. All right, we're moving along. Oh, got a heal. That's useful. That'll be useful for those birds that have the bells that cause confusion. There is nothing more an annoying than a confusion spell in this game. Jesus Christ, it sucks. Because that's when you, like, you, you can't control the person, and even when, in some cases, they'll they'll hit themselves like they need a physical attack to snap them out of it. It's really irritating. Anyway, let's clean up uh, clean up these imps and these rollies, and we'll be on our way to the cathedral. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I've run out of things to talk about in terms of Chrono Trigger. I guess I can ramble about, hey, we got to level up for Luca. That's good. Let's let us explore down here. Oh, we've got something over there, but let's take care of this battle first. Anyway, um, what can I ramble about? I've been listening to a lot to um, a lot of like Sirius XM radio. Um, really, it's kind of weird. I think I explained this in a previous LP. I don't even remember what the LP I did before this was. Was it Zelda? I don't remember, but um, 
I got, uh, what happened was, um, uh, when Chris Cornell died, or when I, when I found out he was dead, he, um, is there anything else around here? Hmm. Let's get another battle going. When Chris Cornell died, um, or when I found out he was dead, uh, he, uh, Oh, Sirius XM had like this concert that they were playing. Um, of course, YouTube kept taking it down. So it's like, you know what? I really want to hear this. Um, I guess it was just a show of just him, another guitarist, uh, a cello player or a cellist, whatever they're called. Um, and, uh, and maybe a bass player. I don't even know what else. But it was a really bare bones show. And it was an interview too with him talking about uh, stuff, um, just about songwriting and about playing stuff and playing music and stuff. So it was really cool, really insightful, and really honestly kind of sad because, uh, he, uh, you know, he just died. So, um, let's, uh, rest up so we can get replenished here. <clears throat> so I got that and I've been listening to it. It's like, hey, this is actually kind of cool. So I've been listening to Sirius XM a lot and it's interesting how um, the stuff I grew up with, um, the 90s stuff like Lithium, I have no interest at all in listening to that uh, at all. Like a lot of the stuff like I just ignore. But that's st I still get a big kick out of that station because it, it is freaking hilarious to listen to at times because since, you know, it's a 90s... They, they have uh, the typical radio station, like, um, stuff, and a place to rest. Oh, I just realized I forgot to go back and get that magic tab. I'm an idiot. Ugh. Oh, well. Is it a magic tab or a speed tab, power tab? Who cares? All right. Let's take care of these things. Naga et... Naga et... Naga et... What have you... Is that supposed to mean um but yeah no it cracks me up how li the lithium channel in particular you gotta have a real disinterested sounding radio voiceover voice to you're listening to 90s alternative and grunge you're on lithium i can i gotta sound really disinterested because it's 90s and then they play something from u2 <laughs> it's like that does not compute, okay? You're, you're sounding all too cool for school and 90s alternative grunge and here's Desire by U2. It's like, no, that's there's a disconnect there, okay? U2 is the most corporate rock nonsense. Here's, I like older U2, like Unforgettable Fire and War and their early, I like their, I think Bono's a giant douche, but I think he's also a very good singer and with a really good voice and he's, Got a really good sense of melody, but it's just funny to hear you 2 on the alternative and grunge station. Like, what? What is this doing here? And then they play, like, Eagle Eye, that Eagle Eye Cherry song. It's like, what is this doing here, you know? It's, it's really strange to see the music they pick for which stations. Like, First Wave is probably my favorite station. That's the 80s uh, station that plays... Everything from David Bowie to, uh, you know, all the synth pop stuff like Duran Duran and Depeche Mode. But then they play, like, Joe Jackson. Like, Is she really going out with her? But they'll play that, but yet they don't consider Rick Springfield to belong on the station, you know? Like, what's the difference between those songs? Oh, here we go with Frog. Frog's here. <laughs> Anytime I see somebody talk like that, I can't help but think of Gaw from from uh, Final Fantasy VI. Thou, 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 Mr. Thou. He's making fun of Cyan. I shall save the queen. Yeah, Luca's <laughs> frog person thing. Oh, come on. Who would refuse there? You gotta be, you gotta be a really crappy person to refuse that you know what your name may be frog but you're really more of a fish
That's right, nice to meet you, fish. A giant frog named Fish. All right, we got a cool talking fish. I mean, a talking frog with us. And now we're going to play some killer licks on this freaking pipe organ. And it reveals a door. Again, that's another just like gamer's intuition. Like, oh, I have to check this over here. Like, if you don't know to check the organ, to play the organ, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's just what you do in these games. There's a lot of people say, oh, how am I supposed to know that? It's like, you just do. If you played a JRPG, you just do. It's kind of like, um, Chrono Trigger is a little bit like Cowboy Bebop, where the first time I saw Cowboy Bebop, I was like, what? I don't get why people like this. Why is this so critically acclaimed? What's the big deal? People might feel that way about Chrono Trigger, too, but once you get familiar with other anime and other R JRPGs and other video games, really, like, it took a long time for me to appreciate why people liked Cowboy Bebop. It's when you watch other stuff, like, especially crap like Evan. I'm not a fan of Evangelion. Uh, especially how they just ran out of money at the end and had the staple on the ending. And yes, I know the movies eventually uh, uh, rectified that and you came up with a different ending. But still, at the time, in the early 2000s when I first watched it, there when I watched them all on VHS tapes, dubbed, or uh, subbed, not subbed, dubbed in English terribly. Uh, yeah, I did not like that show. So, and I tried watching it again, but once it got, yeah, I just, I just don't like that show. But um, once you get familiar with stuff like that and stuff like Slayers and, you know, just other anime in general, Trigun, um, Fooly Cooly, uh, even like Magic Knight, Ray Earth, and <laughs> Ah My Goddess, and all that 90s stuff. Um, once you get familiar with that, then you go back and watch Cowboy Bebop. You're like, okay, now I kind of understand the context of this. Cowboy Bebop has an awesome soundtrack that is much different than the rest of... Uh, the rest of those animes I listed. The rest of those TV shows I listed. Um... Oh, can't get in there yet. Oh, wait. There's a switch there, though. Ah, there we go. That's my sword upgrade I've been waiting for. Excellent. Um, yeah, what's the point of that? I guess it's just to give you a sense that, oh, hey, this switch exists. Um, but yeah, once you get a sense of, like, what anime is, you know, what the context was and yes I will remember to pick this up I can't believe I left that other one over there I'll have to go back and get it if I if I don't get caught up in my own rambling here there's a power tab I want to give that to drunk because or chrono I should say but yeah that will uh, make him you, what you want to do in this game is accentuate strengths chrono's already strong the way I see it I see it like drafting a, a football team or like putting together like a baseball team like for example the <laughs> this is such rambling nonsense I'm sorry but <laughs> when you get turn-based battles like this with not much going on you gotta come up with something to ramble about right so it's kinda like drafting a football team or putting together a, a roster of like baseball football whatever you want to accentuate your strengths y you can either go for balance and fill needs but you can do what the Baltimore Ravens did in the 2000s, where it's like, okay, we already have this dominant defense. We've got Ray Lewis and Ed Reed. Let's draft Terrell Suggs in the first round in addition to those guys. And that paid off huge dividends because, you know, they could have done the predictable thing and drafted a wide receiver or, or offensive line. I love the music change here. It's great. <laughs> Some good stuff here. We see just a, a lighter moment for the monsters in charge here. It's such a nice touch. Yes, and of course, like, <laughs> these guys are too stupid to understand that you're just regular, same old humans. And you can follow this guy over here. They really got the little things in this game so perfectly. But yeah, anyway... Yeah, we've got, uh, I know, uh, let's get rid of these first. Foist. 
There we go. We got our money. We got our ether. Nah, screw off. <laughs> we got. A, we need a third person here. Let's just put a generic soldier. And of course, they are in disguise. Snakes in disguise. But yeah, no, you just draft to accentuate strength. You do the same thing with the tabs here, in my opinion. Like, Chrono's already strong. You can either go for balanced, or you can make him really fucking strong. Same with, uh, whatever you want to, whoever you want to make your strongest magician. Or the strongest, uh, mage, I should say. You can either pick Luca or Marl, and make them, and overpower them like crazy. With, uh, magic tabs, or speed tabs, or whatever you want to do. But just pick one character, and just keep applying that stuff over and over to them. And I do, I like to do that with power with Chrono, since for most of the game, he's going to be in your party. So you might as well make him extremely useful. Anyway, let's uh, heal up here, since we finally have a character that has a healing uh, spell. And let's keep exploring this uh, cathedral here. Can I get past these guys without fighting them again? Duh. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, the lithium thing with with U two. I do like U two. Their older stuff. I think Bono, is <laughs> as big of a douche as he is, it's a really good singer with a really good voice. And uh, but yeah, it's it's lithium has some really strange choices. Um, they play Dave Matthews Band. Like, okay, you play all the typical Seattle stuff. You play uh, even the generic hanger-ons like Soul Asylum and, and Candlebox and crap like that. But they they play all the radio hits of the time. All right, X-Strike. That's one of my favorite spells in this game. Favorite dual techs in this game. But, uh... Oh, crap, I'm down to 4 MP. Yeah, this is the most uh, useful when they're in a tight-knit group over here. Hey, what the hell? That was supposed to get all four. That's bullshit right there. But with the new sword, that's going to do a ton of damage. Mm, let's do a slurp cut. Just to show that off. Going to have to use an ether for Chrono eventually, especially when uh, we get to the boss coming up here. But yeah, we've got the Seattle bands. Your typical when you think of '90s music, you think of you know, especially when the station is advertised as alternative and grunge. I think I'm gonna put that on here. I don't really need a sight scope, the scope for her or for anybody really. What else can I do? Is there anything else? Mm, should probably heal up. I think the boss battle is coming up. So let's get everybody set to go here, and let's get Chrono, let's get everybody an ether. I've got enough of them to, to go around, so. Oh, and we have a nifty little save spot here. If I had a tent, I would use that. That's where you save. Don't really need to do that because, oh shit, I did not get that treasure. That was really stupid. Here we have a monster down on his luck. What's going on, buddy? You okay? Oh, he's just taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to make this a little interesting? <laughs> Let's have him sleeping. It's so strange. <sighs> but yeah, you do get burnt out on the those stations because they really do play the same shit over and over. It's the same stuff and it's like, I'm, I was sick of this back then and I'm sick of it now too. So... I, I get sick of that station pretty quickly, but first wave, there's a lot of that stuff. Uh, no entry, what? A lot of that stuff, uh, yeah, let, let's skip battles. I'm plenty leveled, so let's just keep going in the interest of... Let's see if I can... Let's do that. Let's see if I can dodge these guys. There we go. Dodge that. Go up. Let's get this treasure over here. Sweet shelter that you use that at the save point. Don't really need to do that. Let's get this done. Yeah, plenty leveled at this point, I think. It's another very tricky thing to pull off 
I was talking earlier about the structure and of the story and how it's uh, laid out without being too obvious in terms of exposition and all that sort of stuff. But getting the difficulty balanced just right. Not difficulty, that's not the right word. It's more like getting the... Just the... The balance correct for... So the game's not too easy and the game's not too... Not absurdly hard where you're... Every battle takes forever. Um, yeah, we're just going to run with uh, real basic attacks. God, Luca's attack is so pathetic right now. She needs a better weapon ASAP. But um, just uh, being able to uh, balance it correctly so the battles are still... They're not just, like, boring, but you don't need to sit there and grind. It's not a requirement that you sit there and grind. Um, the, the strength and speed of the enemies levels up at the same rate you naturally would in the game, is what I'm trying to say. That's tough to do, and they do a really good job at that with this game, so I appreciate that very much. It's a long battle here. <coughs> 50 minutes in, I think I'm gonna go for an hour here, or at least uh, see how far I can get here. There we go, a whopping 53 experience points for that. Are you kidding? That's it? Alright, an iron sword for frog. Or, I'm sorry, for fish. Excuse me. <laughs> this is so stupid. And again, gamer's intuition here. It's like, oh, there's something to mess with. Let's check it out. In the distance, we hear something triggered. Let's go. Let's take the picnic basket and scramble boo. So anyway, let's uh, see if I can get around these guys. I'm sick of these battles. Oh, that just makes more guys appear. That's that backfired. God damn it! See, the game's gonna pull you into battles anyway at a certain point. That's kind of shitty. Let's fire whirl these motherfuckers. take care of those guys and just do a good old-fashioned strike there there we go <laughs> see that took 39 points and I leveled up there we go and suddenly there is a thing and now try hard enough and you will find a way in is that supposed to be some kind of inspirational message or something <coughs> hey I actually got past though never mind Boss fight coming up. <coughs> there we go with the flame whirl. Get rid of these motherfuckers. Might as well do a... Yeah, those guys are annoying because they put like slow spells on you. But uh, yeah, what else can I ramble about? You know, one thing I've always wondered to know if other people experience this, um, when I listen to the same song twice in a row, uh, like lately, um, what have I been listening to? I don't even know. Like say, say you're listening to Africa by Toto and you really like that song and you listen to it over and over. When I listen to a song like that, or any song really, it sounds slower the second time I hear it. It sounds like labored and let's use that, um, oh wait. What am I doing? There we go. When I listen to the same song twice in a row, it sounds slower. It really does. So, I don't know if that's just me, if that's just my brain, or if it's... Uh-oh. What's going on? What's the Chancellor doing? Fish! <laughs> I'm easily amused. Yeah. All right. Hey, his name is Fish. Get it right. All righty, here we go. It's a big, hideous monster thing. 
The first million times I played this, I did not realize, I did not see the face on this thing. I thought the horns were the eyes. I just saw, I didn't see the eyes on it at first. <laughs> I never noticed the tongue the first few times I played this either. It took me a while to see, oh, its face is like, those were horns. Yeah, it's kind of a strange, oh god, this guy's gonna be a, a chore, isn't he? I'm plenty leveled, it's just, and I've got, you know, the correct weaponry, so, yeah, 169. And then those things on its back start flashing as you uh, do deal out more damage. He can still do major. He's got some really strong attacks. Yeah, here we go. This is bad. Oh, yeah. That's half my life gone, but no big deal. Probably heal, uh, heal up here. If he does the three... Whoa, what? 21? If he does the three thing... The needles for all three of us, that's... That's a really bad attack. Oh, there we go. That really wasn't that hard. <laughs> I was expecting the more of the needle attack. It really only affected Drunk. Or Chrono, rather. 50 experience points, that's it? Jeez. Let us return to the castle. Now, I wonder... I won't do it this time. Just because I like showing this stuff off for... If you, if you happen to be watching this and you've never played this, I wonder if you just leave uh, and leave the real real Chancellor stuffed in there. <laughs> if, he, if, if that affects the rest of the game, I honestly don't know. mid through that's very useful. Let's return to the castle. Thank you, game, for not making me go all the way through the freaking cathedral again, like some games would. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away. <laughs> Poor fish. Come on, fish, cheer up, you're okay. So formal. <laughs> and then the game just... It. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, let's talk to everybody first. <laughs> Who cares? Let's see what everybody has to say. Yeah, 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 you got the same stupid crap. What about you? What do you think about all this? Oh, okay, you're just... They make such a cute couple. Let's check it out. God, I, st I get tempted to look and see if there's anything new. I'm such a rube. What about you guys? What do you guys think? <laughs> You're not supposed to talk and uh, talk to these people first, huh? Oh, that guy says the same thing. The game does not count on you to do that. It counts on you to be really worked up. There we go. There she is. Cool. Oh, so my bedroom... I'm just kidding. Wah, wah, wah. Cold, dark, and lonely? Sounds like my prom night, am I right? No. <laughs> Zuh? Oh. Why is she facing away from us? Oh, and then that gives you the choice. WRONG! <laughs> right. Never would have gone near you. Let's go home, drunk! That's right, let's stop for a drink somewhere. And... Oh, weird. 
They do change their dialogue. But that makes no sense. That's really strange. Why would they say that before? I don't know. That's an odd, odd little bug there. Okay, well, what's going on? <laughs> They're like, the fuck? Alright, you say anything new? Hey, you can pay me in freaking booze. Let's just get out of here. Um. Uh oh, it's it's Frog's big dramatic exit. <laughs> Such good sprite work. Such drama. Hey, thanks, fish. Alright, I think we're winding down. I'm over an hour now, I think. So we're going to wind down this first part. Just got to come up with a good spot to do so. Let's go over here. See if there's anything over here that is worthwhile. Oh, same old stuff. I think we can take a snooze, though. And get everybody up to speed. Fish has done a fine job. <coughs> Cyrus the Virus, like from Con Air? Is that who they're talking about? John Malkovich? That'd be pretty cool. And, of course, we have to check out... Eh, screw it. Let's get out of here. Should we fight? That's right. I've already had a few battles with Marl. So she should be, yeah, she's got 109 hit points. That's not too bad. But yeah, anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about hearing the same song twice in a row, and it sounds slower the second time. It doesn't matter what the song is, what the genre is, or any of that. It's uh, It always sounds slower. It's weird. Um, I don't know. I, th I first noticed that when I was really young. Um, because, uh, one of the first bands I got really into, I was six years old and my sister was, my older sister was really into Guns N' Roses. Um, when my parents would leave, she'd put on the Appetite for Destruction cassette on my mom's, like, little boombox cassette player thing and would blast it super loud. And she'd ask me every time, what song do you want to hear? And I'd say, I don't know. It's funny looking back because I used to say Night Train. <laughs> Little did I know that song is about a drink called Night Train. <laughs> um, but what I really meant was Welcome to the Jungle. I didn't know it was called that. I thought the song was called Night Train for some reason. So she would play Night Train over and over. And I realized, like, why does it sound slower? What's wrong with the tape player? Like, there's, is the tape player, like, is the tape getting... Is the tape wearing out or something? Like, why does it sound slow? And she looked at me like, what are you talking about? It doesn't sound slower. It sounds exactly the same. What's wrong with you? I thought that was odd. Okay, so we're going to leave off here. Um, I'll be back for a part two, I'm sure. So, all right. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers. <laughs>